This is Plant-Based Briefing, What Food Justice Is and Why It Matters, Explained, Part 1, by Hazra Khatoon at sentientmedia.org. I'm Marian Erickson, your host. This is the Plant-Based Podcast, where I research and find a variety of articles written by experts, get permission, and narrate them to you here in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. Today's article is a bit longer, so it's going to be a two-parter. I'll read the first part today, and I'll read part two tomorrow. It's from sentientmedia.org. They're a nonprofit news organization that's changing the conversation around animal agriculture across the globe. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. What Food Justice Is and Why It Matters Explained, Part 1, by Hazra Khatoon at sentientmedia.org. Food fulfills a basic human need, but it's not equally accessible to all humans. At least 735 million people worldwide experience hunger, a number that has increased by 122 million since 2019. The uneven distribution of food worldwide results in food deserts, death, and illness, among other forms of injustice. What's more perplexing? Deep and persistent inequities in the food system aren't due to a lack of food. We're now producing more food than ever, in fact, enough to feed one and a half times the global population. Yet people across nearly 55 countries do not have access to sufficient food. On top of that, in some countries, nearly 40% of the food supply goes to waste each year. Even though the concept of food justice is often associated with food security, there's a lot more to the idea. At its core, this ever-evolving movement deals with injustice in every aspect of our food system. Today, all of the data points towards the urgency of this issue and the need for substantial changes to the way we produce and distribute food. So let's take a look at what food justice is and how it seeks to bring equity to food systems. What is food justice? The food justice movement promotes practices that make healthy food easily accessible to everyone, no matter where they come from, how much they earn, or where they live. The concept covers every aspect of food, whether it is growing, distributing, selling, or educating people to opt for healthy choices. Moreover, it advocates for the rights of workers, farmers, and landowners. To understand what food justice is and how it works on a local level, we can take a closer look at organizations like Urban Tilth in Oakland, California, which has established more than 60 community gardens that provide healthy food to people at affordable prices. The Just Food Organization is another group in the U.S. which trains farmers, establishes farmers' markets, and reaches underserved areas. Historical Origins of the Food Justice Movement Food historians say the Greenwood Food Blockade marked the origin of the food justice movement. In the Mississippi Delta in the early 1960s, access to food was cut off by white people in power as a strategy of disempowering black residents who were fighting for civil rights. The all-white Board of Supervisors discontinued the Federal Surplus Food Commodity Program, for instance, a program that had been providing food staples to 90% of black people in the winters. In response to this, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee petitioned President John F. Kennedy to intervene. Eventually, the federal government mandated the reinstatement of the food program. In the end, the blockade ended up acting as a catalyst for a new Food for Freedom program. Members of this burgeoning movement knew that food justice extended beyond government programs. In 1969, they launched the Free Breakfast for Children program, which sought to address immediate hunger among underprivileged children. Its success sparked a national conversation about food insecurity, eventually increasing funding for the National School Lunch Program. These victories laid the foundation for the continued battles today for food justice. Why is food justice important? Every human survival depends on having access to clean water and food. Below are some of the many reasons food justice is important. Addresses the lack of healthy food options. In many places, it is extremely difficult to get healthy eating options, especially in food desert areas. The USDA has estimated that one in eight Americans reside in food deserts. Though the agency has ceased using the term, recognizing that there are more barriers to good nutrition than lack of fresh food options, which must also be addressed. Still, people who lack access to healthy food are more likely to be overweight and are also at an increased risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart issues, according to the CDC. Many people opt for unhealthy foods because they are comparatively cheaper than healthy food options. Food justice focuses on providing healthy food at affordable prices so that people can afford fresh and balanced meals. Pushes for community control of food production. 
Food justice encourages people to take charge of their food production and distribution. It means farmers or landowners decide what they want to grow or sell in neighboring areas. This approach aids the availability of healthy local foods and community building. Community-led food production can increase access to healthy food, creating jobs and supporting local economies. Along with this, it also promotes self-sufficiency. Identify systemic issues that prevent food equality. The issue of food justice reveals systemic inequalities of racism and poverty. A huge number of Black and Hispanic Americans face food insecurity compared to white Americans. Moreover, the number of Black children facing food insecurity is nearly three times that of white children. Food justice addresses unfair policies, racism, and financial inequality, and works towards bringing long-term changes. You just listened to What Food Justice Is and Why It Matters Explained, Part 1, by Hazra Khatoon at sentientmedia.org. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. Tune in tomorrow for the second half of this episode, which discusses what is the food justice movement, various examples of the food justice movement in action, and some food justice terms you should know. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.